again to my channel my name is Cynthia in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make the structured sleeve you are seeing right away okay so if this is what you would like to learn please I advise you to stay till the end of this video if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe so, these are the um, items I'll be needing you'll be needing a hard gun stay for this um, Kind of sleeve i saw the sleeve online so i decided to make it to teach you guys how to make it so you need a line lining and also you will need a, a fabric you also need your chop your scissors and your rulers all right so without much ado we just go in so the class so right now i'm actually using one yard of fabric for this um sleeve okay i'll be using my, my lining to line up what the inner parts you can decide to use the same fabric to line up the inner parts but for me i'll be using what um lining all right so you are going to determine how much of the um the inside you are going to use i want to give you an example an illustration illustration using my mannequin and uh, the lens now the lens of the dummy is from here we want to use eight inches okay so the width like i said i want it to be what 8.5 so 8.5 is around here you can see okay 8.5 is around here and the width we are using what eight inches all right so let's go and get um the length eight inches and the width 8.5 All right, so this is it. Okay, I've already cut it out. I actually thought my camera was what on. I didn't know it was not on. So, but let me explain again. Now the length I'm working with for myself is 10 inches. And then the wideness I'll be using is 4.25. You can decide to make something different, okay? 4.25 and then I added extra one inch for my allowance. So now on the upper area on this side, I came down by one by 0 0.75 inch around here. And then I also came in here by half inch and then I connected with a curve. Okay, let me show you what I mean by that. Let me show you what I mean. I actually did that, but I didn't know it was not videoing. So let's say, okay, let me show you what I mean by that. I came in here by one inch and, okay, I came out by one inch and then I came in here by one inch and then I curved it this way. Okay, then we curved it what this way. That's how I was able to get that place. So you come down by one inch and come in by one inch. You try to connect what connect it together. So just make sure there's a curve around what the upper area that this side, the, not the folded part, but on the open what part. So now we have the base. Okay, now we have the base. So the next thing we are going to do is to measure round. Okay. I'll just go ahead and measure, not from this place, this is the down part, but from the side, the two sides, the upper side. So you just go this way, okay? Measure it this way. So let's see how many we have. So I have a total of 30, but I'm going to make it 32, okay? So that if there's any excess, I can cut off when I am what I'm true. So that area is going to act as the what? You know, look at the picture very well. It's looking like um, like a casing. All right, so it's going to act as a casing. This is the base. So the casing is coming this way. Okay, so it's going to act as a what the case. So right now we're going to cut that out. Like I said, I'm making for the two sleeves. So I went ahead. I've cut out for the two parts. So you can decide to use the fabric for the lining, but I'm not using the fabric for the lining. I will be using a lining. Okay, for this particular work so now i'll be cutting for the two of them okay you know we got 30 we got 30 30 inches so i will be using we got 30 inches so i will be using 32 inches so that even if i'm short of fabric i can just work trim off when i'm through it was teaching all right, so now let's go. So now I'm going to measure. Measure what I have. Now, on that part, 
you can decide to use whatever you want to use. So me, I am going to use um, 4.5 inches on fold and then I'll add half inch for my allowance to give me what? 5 inches, okay? So we have a total of 5 inches and then the length I said I'm going to use 32 inches. So I'm going to cut out. We'll cut it out now. for the vase okay I'll just use the fabric for the vase since I am no longer using the fabric for anything so let me use it to line up what my work okay I still have enough fabric but if you don't have enough fabric you should just use your lining to line up so I'll just cut it the same thing so I'll just go ahead and cut out the hair stay and then I'll just go to my ironing table and iron them out Alright, so I'm going to start joining both the base and the casing. Alright, but before I start joining, that place that is curved, that place that I curved, I would want to like uh, make sure that the two parts are, are equal. So I'll just fold it into two. You can see that part. I'll fold it into two. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I actually want a, the curve towards the two of them to be very equal all right so i'll just trim it and once i trim it i'm going to start joining once i trim i'm going to start joining and so i have put the lining and what the main fabric okay remember like i said i'll be using the main fabric to also line up what the the sleeve so right now i'm going to start line it up i'll grab the casing side this is the casing side and then i'm going to join it right side facing right side and then i'll sew it round so right now if you're wondering how i did that round area what i did was once i got to that place i i started lifting up the foot of my machine and then i went gently i lifted up the foot of the machine and i went towards very gently so we're going to start stitching right away all right so um make sure you use a matching thread so that your stitching your matching thread so that your work can look what's very neat so as you can see once i go to that corner that bending corner i started taking it slowly i'll just walk a little and then I'll turn, walk, and navigate a little as if you're making a princess that was there. Okay, so once I passed there, I continued with work. So please, because we're working with a um, hard stay, make sure you are controlling your work um, by your hand, okay? If you allow just the machine to do the controlling, you might not really get exactly what you want. So control the work with your hand and all that so once i got to that place too i lifted up the foot of my machine a little so that i could get that round shape there that um shape over there so right now i'm almost through 
and then once I finished, I discovered I still had SS. Of course, remember I made it um 32 because I didn't want to be short of fabric. It's better I have SS than it's being short. So right now, I'm gonna trim off the the SS. I'll trim it off on my own, and then I'll just start joining the other side, other one. So right now, I'm, I'm going to notch. Make sure you notch, okay? On those, on those corners, notch so that by the time you turn, your work will look very neat and, and okay. So I went ahead, I notched my work. And once I finished notching, I just turn it inside out to see how it looks, okay? So once you are through, just turn it out and then you see how it looks. So I'll go ahead and join the lining. Okay, I'll join all that, all that the second part, and then I also want to join the linings. Then I will come and show you how to match them together, so that the, your rough edges can be inside. So I'll go ahead and cut off that excess. And once I do that, I'm going to start joining the rest. So right now, I'm going to start joining the linings to the words. I'm, join, I'm going to join this way. I'm going to start joining this way. So you try and bring, it, bring them out this way. Just bring it out. But before you bring that, please don't forget to notch. So I'm going to notch it here so, so that it can be what's... It can be a little eased around here, so just notch. So I'll turn this over. So I'll turn it over this way, and then I'll bring it facing each other this way, and then I'll sew it this way. And this way, like this, and then that's like what I cover it up. So I'll do the same thing to this one too, and then I'll just show you how to join them until we are all through with everything. So let's start joining together. So you're going to bring it right side facing right side, and you start. Then
So I'm going to leave a little space to turn it out. Don't forget that. Please. I'll leave a little space around here to turn it out. So I'll leave the space to turn it out. Okay. I'm leaving this place here to turn it out. So I'll stop it there. And then I'll do the second one. Then we'll turn out together. So if you're wondering how I did the first one this way, make sure you turn it out. Make sure you turn out first. And make sure you have notched your work. Notch, please don't forget. So I have turned out. This. So I'm going to turn out this one. So turn it out. So once we turn it out, what you're going to do right now is to bring this one facing this way. Okay. So we'll start from here. We'll join this way, you can see, like this, this way, until we'll get to the end of this area. So now let's start from here, start joining. I left a little opening around here so that I can turn it out. Ah, I just pray that this thing comes out though. But won't come, I just lose it a little and bring it out. So try and bring it out. Still, okay, because of the hard thing, it's proving. So I'll just go ahead and bring it out. Um, the, the because of the steel on it is very thick, so once I'm true, I'll just give it a nice press and I'll show you the finished look. All right, so we've come to the end of the tutorial. Wow, this sleeve is looking so beautiful. Okay, and let me just go close to the um, uh, let me take my camera close so you can see how beautiful it's looking. If you want your length to be long, your yours to be longer than this, you can just go down, okay, by maybe 12 inches I actually use 10 inches for my legs and I like the way it appeared it's so beautiful in fact this is this should be called a box sleeve <laughs> oh it's, she's looking so beautiful okay so please do not forget to like share and subscribe if you don't subscribe to our YouTube channel if this tutorial was very helpful please don't also forget to what hit the bell icon so you always get notified whenever we upload our video. I'm going to see you in my next class. I'm Cynthia. Bye. Oh, lovely. This is beautiful.